Alright guys, so in today's episode of Not One Minute Reviews, we're looking at the Marvel Legends series Spider-Man No Way Home Wave Doc Ock from Spider-Man 2. Uh, so let's look at, take a quick look at the packaging. Art of the figure on the front with a kind of image of Doc Ock in the back. Um, side of the box, just a render of the figure. Other side of the box, a posed render of the figure. On the back of the box, it shows the accessories you get. And the, the figure in a pose. Two extra hands, two extra claudets. Uh, let's open them up. Because I have a few theories to test with them once we get them out of the box. We got them in the signature Hasbro cardboard packaging. Um, let's just see what's in this tiny bag first. Okay, so it gives four claw bits, actually, but it's the two... That, like, he uses the stand. And then two that are, like, Rawr, I'm gonna get you. Two just kind of normal hands. Like, just kind of casual. And then we got the doctor himself. Get him out of the bag. Um, it is bendy wire. A very hard bendy wire, but a very good bendy wire. Like, I like it when a bendy wire is stiff. Um. Because most of the time, a stiff bendy wire keeps its shape. Um. Here's the figure out of the packaging. Sorry, I haven't been very nice when it comes to showing the camera. The coat is somewhat flexible. Uh, the arms somewhat bendable. You're gonna have to let them kind of chill for a little bit. Not like, don't put them in a freezer. Don't do that. That'll ruin the figure. But like, you kind of have to play around with it. My big theory is, will it stand on its own? Let's put it to the test. So unfortunately, I am holding him up. He does not stand on his own. At least I can't get the tentacles positioned like that. Oh, but you can probably get him standing on his own two feet. Let's test that. Yeah, that's going to need some sticky tag. Um... Unfortunately, I can't get the man to stand on his own. Um, I'm sure there's a way you can get him to stand on his own. But right now, personally, I cannot achieve the ways. Teach me your ways, young one. <laughs> oh, the figure is still really cool in retrospect. It's just going to take a bit for the tendrils, Venom reference, uh, to kind of, you know, get used to being... Like, these tendrils have never been moved. You gotta think about that. Like, this figure is brand new, untouched. So you gotta think about that, like... The bendy wire has been stiff. In a box. Full of rocks. Yeah, yeah, there's no, as hard as I'm trying... The man... Behind the slaughter, no pun intended. Try it. You cannot stand on his own. Womp womp. That's alright though. That's alright. That's alright. I still love the figure for what it is. I'm sure if you gave it some sticky tack and then did like this, it could definitely stand on its own. Uh, but oh oh, speak of the devil. Well, let's just pop in the other claws. And yes, there will be t size comparisons. The only villain we're missing now is Sandman and Venom from the Tobey Maguire trilogy. So let's do some size comparisons. Um, who should we do first? Well, we gotta go with the Man Man Spidey. And like, should we go with the Man? Let's go with the Man Man Spidey. So I don't really. I'm scared of getting him too close to the tendrils, but you can see they're similar height. And then for Gobby. Um, a little taller, if you're going head-to-head. -head. He is a little taller. Um. So, yeah, that was this, um, month's episode of 
not one minute, re not one minute reviews. I'm probably gonna post a few photos of him on our community page, like posed. But until then, see you next time, lemons. Stay juicy.